this is the soap that I just showed you a picture of. And I uh, used to make this a long time ago when I lived on the farm. And I would make all of my laundry detergent. And I would do a liquid version. And it seemed to last a very long time. And lately I have been making the, just the powder version. But today I wanna make the liquid version. So I put this soap into the microwave for about a minute on each side. And it kind of puffs up like this because anybody who's ever made this knows that if you don't do that one step, this takes forever to grate. But once you stick it in the microwave, um, it'll grate very easily. But you need to let it cool off a little while or wear gloves because it's very hot. For the rest of this recipe, you're going to need to put four cups of water into a pot and let it come to a boil. And then you're going to take this uh, soap that you grated and put it into your pot. And then you're going to stir this until it melts completely. Now, it will bubble up, but that's okay. Just stir it until all of those soap flakes dissolve into the water. Now this is so easy to make liquid laundry detergent. Like I said, I used to do it when I lived on the farm and then just for convenience and you know, when I lived in the camper, it just wasn't convenient for me to have uh, this made up but I've been wanting to do this a long time. I was just using the powder recipe that's on my website uh, to have homemade soap. I'm gonna turn this down to medium heat because I don't want it to boil over while I do the rest of the recipe. Okay, I've got all of that pretty much melted. And I'm going to add to this one cup of Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. That's one cup of that. And one half cup of borax and I know some people shy away from the borax but I've always used it and I've never had any problems and my skin is super sensitive and you just stir that in until it gets real incorporated into that liquid one thing that you can understand about this is it is very inexpensive to make just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of patience because you can't use it right away. You have to, um, and I'm going to show you in a minute, I'm going to fill a five gallon bucket halfway full with warm water. And I am going to pour this mixture into that and stir it very well. And then put a lid on it and it is going to set overnight and it will be become very thick and not super liquidy but then again not real hard either it'll be just this, you know a good consistency for um, liquid laundry detergent this is my five gallon bucket i'm going to fill it up halfway okay i'm going to add this uh, liquid soap, borax, and washing soda into the five gallon bucket. Scrape that down. Get all the good stuff. Okay, 
and just stir it. And that is it, y'all. Most people do not realize it, but the main ingredient in laundry detergent is water. You're paying for expensive water. Okay. I'm going to put a lid on this. And I'm going to set it and forget it till tomorrow. This is already thickened up. Yeah, it's just been probably four hours. So I'll check it again in the morning. Okay, I'm going to stir this detergent up. That's that. Now, you can add some essential oils to give it a fragrance, but I usually just use some fabric softener and that's that's enough fragrance for me but uh you can cer certainly add the essential oils and i may do that at a later date but right now i'm just going to leave it the way it is and let it do its cleaning thing and i don't have to worry about getting to the store for laundry detergent i wanted to mention that along with my homemade laundry detergent. I always add a scoop of this Oxy multi-purpose cleaner and, and it comes in different uh, name brands. This is just a generic brand, but any type of Oxy clean or Oxy multi-purpose cleaner. I add a scoop of this to the load of laundry along with my homemade laundry detergent. And I have never had a problem using this with any type machine. I've had a top loader before and right now I have a front load. And whenever I add my homemade laundry detergent, I just put it into the washing machine. I don't add it to the self adding feature in the little drawer that you pull out. I just put everything except for my fabric softener. I put it into the pull out drawer. But the Oxy multi-purpose cleaner and the homemade laundry detergent I put into the washing um, unit itself. I hope this helps you guys. Take care and may God bless you all.